Kilpailussa mukana Ramirent. Kotikatsomon eväät tarjoaa kotipizza. What's up everyone and welcome to the final round front nine here at the second stop of the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour in Tampere, Finland. This coverage is brought to you by Natural Born Disc Offer. Thank you guys for sharing your coverage here with us at Gatekeeper Media. And this commentary is brought to you by Parked Podcast. My name is Mitch Phillips. Joining me is my good friend Hayden Ricard. Final round, front nine. Yeah, got two battles going on between Evelina and Henna. And then we have the rest of the pack behind them. Yeah, it's a, quite a distance in between our two leaders here. Changes of the lead going back and forth over and over again. Pretty clean back nine on round two there for Henna. Um, another familiar face we saw in round one, Olivia Keenstedt, sponsored by Latitude 64. No birdies, but a lot of pars. And sometimes that's all you can find here. Uh, rounding out our card here is Haiti Line sponsored by Dynamic Discs. Excited to see her. Great distance. Really good putter when she can get it going. But let's check in with the leaderboard, like we said. Double-digit strokes in between our two one-stroke leaders, leaders of first yeah. and second. Uh, but then we have a lot of battles going on. The podium spot of number three, and then also so many underneath them are very, very close. They are very close. Let's move into hole one, par four, 689 feet. Landing zone is going to be right around here, this secondary tee pad, and then the out of bounds comes into play for real as you approach with your second, maybe third shot into this green. Par here is strokes on most of the field. This does play closer to a par five as this basket just seems so, so far away, even throwing two and three great shots. Let's see if Evelina can get out further than she has in the past two rounds. But, I mean, she's been able to reconnect and get out for the, the bogey. and That's 50 feet further I mean, than we've seen anyone she, throw. And what we saw in round she two... She did exactly what I thought she right. needed to do. We saw in round two was this match play, which we're, we're coming to get used to between yes. um, Henna and Evelina. But definitely match play in the scores, yes. They're very close in score, one stroke. But it's the match play of the shots they're throwing is it's what you can do, I can do better, and I can match it. And that kicks right. Unfortunate there, she does not find the out of bounds, but it's gonna be an interesting look. She might have a back end look over there. We've seen a couple of players end up over there and be able to get as far down the fairway as they can from that side. Yeah, it kind of opens up a weird spike, but let's see how Olivia tax this drive a little bit lower approach it does stay safe but we've talked about it a lot so far in this tournament the footing is the most important thing yes agreed and even though yes you're not out of bounds you are in that casual area but that's there for safety and also because that tends to fill with water so mm -hmm. it can just get really really uncomfortable as haiti line a oh my goodness yes that is a smash of a throw. That is perfection. And you got Henna here having to do a stand. Almost like reach out, trying to get out as far as she can. Gets a good kick in front of that next tee. Looking at best maybe bogey from the distance there. Yeah, if she can really get one down there, maybe she can bring the par back into play, but... Olivia having to go to the kind of flex forehand. This is leaking towards the out of bounds. Unfortunate. Did it stay safe? Nope. No, it's just out. on the outside. And that's going to be out of bounds and on that right side where there's really not a lot of angle. But Evelina with all the options in the world to throw this straight shot. Not enough turn. Yeah, maybe getting caught up there, and that filters so far and down into the out of bounds. Yeah, it looked like her back foot got caught a little bit on the way. That's so unfortunate. Let's see if Henna can capitalize. This is looking 
decent. I mean, she yeah. might have a step out from there. Yeah, going to be a bit right. But for a standstill, that was not bad at all. No, it was great. We finally get to Hades Drive here. And this looks... Going long. long. Yeah, Circle's Edge. Going to have a comebacker on the 689 feet. Throws two perfect shots. Dialing it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you can have that kind of consistency throwing straight shots out the gate here in the final round, you're going to make some moves. Yes, you are. Yeah, sneaks to circle's edge there. Olivia looking to maybe save the bogey. And Evelina, I believe she lays up this one. Yeah, not really a look. If she was pin high, that's going to get run, but yes. not really much of a look there. And realizing it's early, it's only losing a stroke. And Haiti, if she can get a solid stroke putt, just a little bit oh. low. But par is still a great score. It is. Have a look for a birdie. I mean, there's probably five players the entire tournament that have had a putt for birdie on hole one. And that Good is bogey a putt. great bogey save. And there was only one birdie on round three. And it was Anna Sophia Hoppus. Yep. Hypus. You know, we got to watch her in round two. Really great to see that she was able to find birdie. Yes. I mean, after such a difficult second round, definitely go back and check that out here on Gatekeeper Media. And a bogey from Evelina. Be a tap in par here for Haiti Line. And she can see the smile on her face for that one. Yeah. That laughter of knowing, hey, par's great, but definitely would have loved to have. And again, the match play. Mm hmm. Moving on to hole two, par three, 407 feet. Sky Heiser trying to do the inside line, push as far left as you can over the top of these trees and get a look at the basket. A lot of these players are gonna lay it up short with their drive and then put it underneath the basket for their second shot. Yeah, you're really just trying to get pin high. I feel like gonna, if you're pin so high, well. that's, that is you success. You have a look and you could do a jump putt. Mm -hmm. We still have to go up an elevated basket area. Yeah, and this car definitely has the distance to get there, but it yes, is such do. a specific height, and the wind has to kind of play with it. And that's a great shot there. Yes, it is. From Haiti. A little bit more of the outside line. That's far inside. Maybe making the correction that she oh, did. Oh, and catching the middle tree in the fairway. Yeah. Still not yeah. bad compared to where she was round two. Mm -hmm. But still, she would like to have been pushed a little bit further. Going when, more of the inside mm -hmm. aggressive line. And this has the distance. This is almost on top of the first pedestal. Going circles from Henna. edge. Wow, and Henna with a look for You know birdie. she's running that. Mm -hmm. Definitely taking the wider approach here, but still going to be in that, that yeah. at all. Going to have a straight look right at the basket, and hopefully that tree doesn't come into play too much for her. Yeah, it does come in just a little bit, having to go to the Anheuser shape. But as it climbs the hill, that's not a bad thing. Kind of keep that nose up and push forward. It's a yep. great approach there from Keenstead. Nothing wrong with that at all. Playing to her game and not trying to do too much. Mm-hmm. And Evelina falling suit. Yep, another one following suit, just tap in pars. Yeah, let's see what Hannah can do here. Gonna have an interesting approach to it, but. Oh, oh and it's so just close. low. It sit okay, it does stay up okay. top, but to hit cage there for birdie, I mean. She can get that putt going from that 25, 35 range. That's usually She's where she, yeah. yeah. It's it's funny how she has this range of putt where it's always on and then it skips yep. and then it goes to maybe another like 50 to 60 and you'll see her drop some of those in. But if she can get that 25 to 35, 40 foot range dialed in, she's going to walk away a champion here in Tampere. But 
It's definitely a needed thing with so many of these par threes that really play as more as par fours. But if you have a look at birdie, a look at a par that from that range, it's got to happen. Yeah, you got to take advantage of it. Something you can't take advantage of is these short putts. <laughs> Every one of them counts. Gotta we're, take yeah, we're, your time. Seeing it around so far, I mean, especially some of these greens that are like just drop offs everywhere. Those six foot, seven foot putts are so important. Moving on to hole three, par three, 387 feet. This is a left to right moving shot as you enter in to the woods. To get to the green here, you're going to need a lot of height and it's going to need to be a fairway driver, maybe a full distance driver. Um, you can get into the pine straw here if you go low, but this is really the shape you're looking for. You just need it to fade out as this is going to be a little bit too much turn. That's going to be she very, very guarded. Have a look back there, but it's going to be hard to get through there. Yeah, and that's a common mistake is you turn it too much. And Evelina going in the inside route gets a good kick yeah. out. She'll have a look at the basket. Yeah, she's going to be that outside circle too, but... We saw Henna last round put this pin high almost. Mm-hmm. And that's a little bit too low to get all the way to the basket, but oh, and takes a kick to the right. Surprised to see not the high route from those two. Yeah, she has. They both have the power. Let's see if Olivia decides to go higher. Nope, she takes a low route as well. Maybe the wind's doing a little bit different things out there. Mm -hmm. Olivia here for her approach. This looks great. Yeah, disking down to, I believe, her putting putter. Shaping that beautifully to put herself 10 foot tap in. That's so unfortunate having to go to the pitch out. And this is where it's really important. You know you're probably going to lose a stroke. But put it close so you don't have to think about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Haiti not making it all the way through. Just having to punch it. Yeah, and as we thought, I mean, that right side is brutal. It's definitely not where you're supposed to be. Um, but looking at a putt here. To walk away with only a single bogey from... That's not bad. Yeah, from an errant drive, I mean, you're feeling pretty good. And Henna, bogey as well. Olivia to tap in her par. Yep. Really good par. I, I like splitting this hole up into two shots. I do too. I think going with a lower line, you're limiting the risk. And of course, this is final rounds. So they don't get to correct on it. But I like that play a lot. And Evelina with the par as well, getting a stroke on Henna. Yeah, spreading it back to two. On to hole four, par four, 860 feet. It's demanding hyzer shot, trying to get as far left as you can. As you can see that tree and little bunch of trees over there. Set you up for a good approach shot to land right about in this area. You see a lot of the players end up left on that side and then having to pitch out and play for the par here. It's another demanding two, three shot par four. Yeah, this really plays like a par five. Yeah, I mean, being 860 feet, yeah, it's, good. I mean, two full distance shots. Mm -hmm. And it's funny. I mean, this there's so much open space. And you see, right behind right, the tree. And you see that you're going to be left side but on those group of trees or you're going to be behind that singular tree. It's it's like they left them there on purpose. Course this design. It's going it's just, a little bit. No, it's going to fade, fade, fade out. out. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. 
Yeah, the mistake is going to be if you push too far straight, and yes. you're going to have to throw a really Over odd. Like, you're going to end up throwing kind of like a Sky Anheuser shape to really attack at some point, but you want to do that not as big as you may need to if you're out of position. This is a big Heiser shot from Henna. This from or Haiti, I believe. Haiti. Yeah. Another tombstone. Yeah, I love the way that Haiti does distance shots. They're very controlled. They and are. They're, she has the, the distance, like, longevity of it, but it also is not a lot of left-to-right movement as it's knowing exactly where she's going to land. And Henna knowing she has to rip on this one to gain strokes back. and That's beautiful. That is a shot. That late flip, stand up with a distance driver. That's a lightweight destroyer she's throwing. Going to the forehand is Olivia. Oh, that's got to get real left. Oof. That's going to be difficult from in there. Oh, and it catches it. I think she missed her line and it held on to her hand a little bit too much. Yeah, she's in that weird in-between where she could throw the sky shot, but mm -hmm. also didn't necessarily need to. She just needed to move forwards, but... Unfortunately, let's see how Evelina plays around this tree. Going to the sky shot. She's throwing a couple rounds now. And this seems to be flexing out just a little bit. Good kick there at the end. It's such a hard shot to keep it turning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you put that kind of height on a disc. So we finally get to Henna's drive. Let's see. She's also going attack here. Oh. oh my gosh squaring it up that's definitely chopped off about another 150 feet I mean that was carrying definitely giving her a look going over the top mm -hmm. I like this play it's Haiti does it get past it yes it does yep in a clean look towards the basket mm -hmm. knowing that she doesn't have that shot in her bag to throw that big left to right sky anheuser and doesn't bring any of it into play but instead just throws a spike over the top puts herself in a safer spot and moves on and knows Agreed. that maybe bogey is there but it's a lot less stress as we see olivia have to pitch out gets through that line of trees though so she'll have a clean look to the basket this really well. is playing more of a par five being that 860 feet oh for sure Evelina going to this kind of step out forehand. If this flexes back, it's going to be great. Ooh. What a shot shape. Maybe having that little tree in the way, but great scramble there. Showing the bottom of the disc, letting it work left, and then flex back. Having to go with the flex forehand is Henna. It's a shot you don't see from her very often. No, she you likes don't. the backhand a lot more. Great approach. Yes. Great approach there from Olivia. And Olivia, you know, even from that distance, still giving it her entire stroke. I mean, turning her head, letting her shoulders come through, even from not a very long distance. Definitely something to take notes on because you see some of the Ooh. top players here in Europe really commit, even on these 200-foot shots where you can't let them get away from you. If Evelina with a step out. Oh, and it kicks. And again. It's just those prodigy baskets. They want that full commit to the center of the basket. Yep, and they're great baskets. Like they're, yeah, they really are. Really wrong with them. It's just the way that they play. It. Yeah. When you have those little like half, make it half, maybe not mm -hmm. on those outside edges of those chains. Yeah, which is true with most baskets. I think it's it's interesting with our sport is there's not a distinctive like consistency like standard yep. um maybe we'll see that in the coming years um on certain tours they maybe travel with baskets but it's a big commitment but until then we do have different baskets on different things but at least for the prodigy pro tour we have had the same consistency to them yep. and the thing is is people get frustrated oh i kicked out but everyone's on the same medium right yep. no one's playing on different baskets everyone's on the same baskets for that same you know how it plays right so it plays even for everyone but again these one these prodigy baskets do want you to hit really hard center but the thing is, every basket wants you to hit hard center. You know, <laughs> a, a good putt True. is a good True. putt. So I'm not against them, but it's it, just it definitely, sometimes unfortunate. Yeah, definitely can be a little bit brutal sometimes.
Una momo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uudistunut ylämummo. Se on voittajan valinta. Kotipitsasta. Onto one of the shortest holes on the course, hole five, par three, 312 feet. Blind off the tee, you're gonna see a lot of players go to a spike hyzer fairway driver and on a backhand, maybe a mid-range, they don't wanna to carry too far. Um, but the difficulty comes in that it is blind off the tee, but also OB left and then natural OB long that really blocks off shots. This looks really good. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much parked. This is a birdie that you definitely want to get and take on the card. Yeah, it's one of two, I feel like, only birdies on the course that you walk up and you have a chance at. Yes. Any player has a chance at. And this might be leaking left here for Evelina, and it does. Wow. That's her first errant shot on this hole. Yeah, very common mistake. She's birdied at the previous two rounds. But being how close the out-of-bounds is there and you don't really carry over it until that last second, she should be able to have a tap in um, to save the par. This looks really good. Giving it an ace run almost. Great shot. Oh, and no. It, goes out it does leak at the back end. I thought it was perfect. Holy smokes. Unfortunate there for Haiti. Yeah, but again, she will be close. The out of bounds is very close to it. Oh, no. Hoping that doesn't find the out of bounds as well. Having where to she's lining up. Yeah, having to. Completely blind shot here. Does it stick? It does. Wow. Holy smokes. With a look for par. Oh <laughs> no. With such oh an incredible gosh. scramble, you hate to see it. Oh, Olivia, that's so unfortunate. You see Henna there taking the birdie and definitely getting strokes on this card. I can't believe that. After an unfortunate drive, then to an incredible scramble to just kick out barely, as we see it, Evelina. Limit it to just a par, a one-stroke loss, but man. Yeah, she's frustrated on that one for yeah, that's, sure. That's definitely just... It's nothing mm. she can do there, though. You feel the pain. Like, we all know that pain so yeah, it's much. unfortunate. On to hole six, par three, 400 feet. You've seen the rollers. You've seen the Anheuser shots. Trying to just push into a an area that you can get a look at the basket mm -hmm. is the biggest thing with it being so guarded. Yeah, pushing left and long is going to give you the best unless you can just split this gap perfectly. The mistake and is going to be turning it too much. Like, this is going the distance to have a look yep pin high, pin high. And that's a saw, great height too because sometimes you'll see players push too high mm -hmm. on that line and then you find the out of bounds on the left and we've seen evelina do this all three rounds she has the shot shape down yes she does Needs ah, a, little a little bit, bit more distance though, yeah. but the shot shape was there for sure yeah i like that play if that's a a natural stroke for you as it is for her. She has that her last step, if you watch, is very far out in front of her, um, like left to right movement on the on the tee pad. So it kind of lets her hips come through with a lot of force and open up that Anheuser shot. As Haiti puts it near circle's edge. Yeah, she'll have a look if it's not guarded by those trees. Yeah, and if you haven't watched the first stop here at the Project Disc Pro Tour, Haiti Line can smash a disc. Definitely go back and check that out as a little bit too much turn here from Olivia. Just trying to get up there as mm -hmm. Olivia gets guarded by the some of the guardian trees. Yeah, kind of a weird spot you to, to be at. Yep, and you see those guardian trees just come into play so much.
I'm surprised they're still there. Like someone hasn't come and chopped a couple of them down in the night. Like it's just so brutal. I'll do it. What a putt. Saving the par. Circle's edge. This is this is revenge for that last hole. Mm-hmm. Committing to the Heiser angle the entire way. What a putt there from Olivia. Similar distance. Oh, oh, just that was for high. birdie too. You're right. Just high there for Haiti. Good par for Evelina. And Hannah cleaning up the par as well. And Haiti, unfortunate, just kick off the top. We'll take the par. Yeah, great stroke there from Haiti, able to drive and then get into the circle's edge. Just unfortunate. Moving into hole seven, par three, 318 feet. The play here is going to be a fairway driver, maybe a mid-range if you really commit on it. Um, nose up, kind of climbing the hill. Um, if you just kind of hit the hill straight on, you're going to naturally push up it. Um, but the mistake is going to be going too far left and not really having the ability to even run it with the death that is behind it. Yeah. With the thickness of this grass, you don't see too many rollaways, um, but a lot of that is because not many people run it unless you're in a perfect position because of how high up this hill is. And was that henna there that leaked super early left? Yeah, it came out left here. This looks going towards the backside. Looks, it gets held up by the last trees and rolls down for Evelina. Oh my. Our leader is definitely not setting the path. Just needs to turn. Is the wind playing a little bit different? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it also is, we, we've talked about it before, like when you watch the players that are playing well, when they start kind of messing up, the, mm -hmm. the culture, the dynamic on the card changes a little bit and it kind of affects the rest of it. And that's where players can really I mean, show their mental strength. That's what we're strength. seeing right now. Yeah, I mean, you can show that you're locked in, you're not affected by those around you. I mean, disc golf being an individual sport, like that's when you're able to show that you are a great player, when you mm -hmm. can ignore what's going on around you, stick to your game plan and lock in. I mean, I've seen you do it in tournaments, you've seen me do it, I mean, it's, it takes a lot of strength, but that's what wins tournaments. And Haiti just having to go over the trees and gets an unfortunate rolled back down yeah, to the base. Blind. Sit. That wanted to almost kick up and roll back down for Evelina. That's still not an easy putt. I mean, that's weird footing. And does that get... Oh. <laughs> I couldn't see it for a sec. Cameraman wasn't too fast with it. Haiti from the base of the hill. You go for it? No. That was a little bit of it, but that's so uphill. There's no way. Good par there from Olivia. An unfortunate bogey there mm -hmm. for line A. It'll be the par for Hannah as well. On to hole eight, par three, 509 feet. Gonna wanna hyzer it out here and up towards the left to give you a better look at maybe a forehand or a soft backhand approach. To the green here with the basket being so close to the OB. Yeah, an out of bounds coming into both shots here. If you go too straight on the drive, you're out of bounds. You saw it off or go too long on the approach, you're out of bounds. And this is a smash. Holy smokes. I mean, she's got maybe less than 100 to the basket. Yeah, it was such a good shot. A little bit of a back foot slip here. But gets a great commit. Yep. That's all you're trying to do there. If you can beat that last yep. tree that they're kind of around, you open up a really easy approach. And Olivia knowing it, it's where she wants it. Yep. Easy enough. 
Yeah, and this is the longest par three on the course. And I personally like really long par threes. They change the, the the score. I mean, when you think about it, it doesn't change too much. I mean, you're not getting a birdie, but I like the sport going the direction of par is a good thing. That you're not mm -hmm. able to birdie every hole. I think it kind of evens the playing field as this turns too down. much. Okay, it does yeah. stay. Um, what do you think about that? I, I enjoy it. I think it changes your mental state a little bit. I think it makes it di more difficult and you're not seeing so many birdies out there and you're not seeing high numbers. Mm -hmm. um, you're looking for more, av like not average scoring, but like more of an even playing field because it's a harder par three. Yeah. It rewards the super aggression, but also rewards you playing clean. Mm -hmm. Half bid here. Woo. It does stay safe. Does this? Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely was, safe. I think there was a little bit of confusion there, but from our view, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was half and half, and maybe yeah. in between, so it'll be card decided. And oh, sit. Good run there from Olivia, though. Oh, and she, she is was out, out of bounds. bounds. Maybe the out of bounds kind of snakes a little bit around the the dirt there. Wow. That is a crucial OB stroke. Mm -hmm. Oh, then I thought yeah, it was, was skipping off the top a little bit further. Than yeah, that. the, that's definitely what these baskets can do. Is you get on the top of that, it's, a, it's like hitting a speed up zone in Mario Kart. You're going places. And that is a good bogey for Olivia. Good par. I'm interested to see how close Henna was. I don't know if they will show us the line. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. But but it looks it must come back it. in a little bit mm -hmm. more than it looks like. Oh, and just low. And 80 just low on that. Yeah, she's got to be so close to it. And that's one you you hate to see that you take, but it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with 10 holes to play left in the tournament, every single stroke counts. And as we leave the longest part three on the course, let's go to the shortest hole nine, 249 feet. Straight up the gap right there. Lock into your most thrown, most trusted mid-range, maybe even a putter. Um, you see some players maybe disc up, try to use that left to right movement, but it's really not too necessary. If you just give it the height, some good snap, it's going to find its way down to this, this basket. Yeah, and Evelina just hitting the last couple trees on the left side. Still is going to have a look for birdie. That's a great shot there from Henna as well. Yeah, and it puts the pressure there on Evelina to really need to run that putt. That henna is definitely closer. It's those little mind games down the stretch that really come in. So Olivia catches that last limb. I really want to see this hole aced. Oh, that would be fantastic. It's right there, man. <laughs> it can be done. I know yeah. it can, but it's... I don't know. I think the height is the worry. Mm-hmm. And then you also have to get the angle. Olivia here for her birdie outside circle two. What a putt. Let's go. Let's go with the Koti Pita slow-mo. She's been needing this one all day. Good catch. I mean, that's that's easily 60 feet. It's a phenomenal putt there from Olivia Keenstedt. Running it down. first birdie of the front nine take that momentum into yeah, the difficult back nine that going yeah it's it's that was an incredible putt continuing incredible putt 
Evelina. Finishing out the front nine at plus one. Henna definitely going to take her time here. Yep. Yep. Another Good birdie. Start. Three birdies and a par. It's pretty really standard good. from what you see here on hole nine. Yeah. Going into the back nine, definitely want those birdies. Mm -hmm. But yeah, going to our front nine leaderboard. Evelina and Henna still back and forth together. Yep. Um, plus eight, plus nine, going into the back nine. Yeah, and that third and fourth, I mean, familiar names jumping yep. in. Let's, They're only hot round. Ana Sofia Hypus at two under on the front nine. Phenomenal front nine. Yeah. Jumping so many. I mean, with that momentum, she's definitely going to be carrying. I'm excited to see this leaderboard towards the end and see how it mixes up. Yeah. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe here at Gatekeeper Media. We've got nine holes left, Hayden. Just nine. Let's go. I'm excited for it. Be sure to follow us over on Instagram at Parked Podcast. It's been a joy. Ready for this final nine holes. My name is Mitch Phillips. And I'm Hayden Ricard. And we will see you on the back nine.